Chloe and Rowan surfing through Sabaya. Another day in paradise, because I am paradise. Paradise is within me. The light that shines in the sun, the light that is the promise, because the sun rose again, is the light within my own heart. This is both mysticism and science. <laughs> And when I am in alignment, when I embrace the truth of my heart and my emotions, then my heart emits, it goes from two or three photons of light per second to 50 photons of light per second, 50,000 photons of light per second. Is there a limit? I don't know. Maybe let's find out. So, this is why we meditate. This is why we align. For me, actually also being in a physical paradise really helps. <laughs> so this morning after our early talk, morning for me, after our early talk, no. I got on my bike to run an errand and uh, to get my one of my favorite addictions. And um, <laughs> I took it, um, I felt the need to stay on my bike. I got to my house and I just kept riding. And I rode along my favorite path, smiled at the people saw the beauty of the trees, had some lovely synchronicities, and I felt this call to this slightly far private beach. It was amazing. More private beach. And I get to the beach and there's the most beautiful child, the most beautiful child, most beautiful smile. And they weren't really using words yet. And their dad stopped so the child and I could have a conversation. It was so cool. And the child just kept being like, can you, like, the ocean, can you believe the ocean? And I was like, was like he kept, like, looking at the ocean and the smile and being like, oh. And I'm like, I know, I know. It was beautiful. And then, you know, I had a moment. I had a moment with the ocean, a moment with the silence, a moment with myself, yeah. And then I come home, and the whole world is opener, opener, the whole world's opener. And, you know, the rainbow, the rainbow kept peeking out this morning at me and reminding me. And I also come home and get on the internet and one of my favorite insightful beings, Lavelle Zimmerman, he posts that there are no mistakes. There are no failures. You know? Sounds just like what I needed to be hearing. And so today, orienting in the truth that it's so much easier. Regret is easier than action. Regret is a passive, right? Regret is easier than action. So it's easier to, for me to stay, for me to stay in my emotions and you know, you know, my tears are salt water. The rain is the water, the holy water that washes everything clean. The ocean is salt water. All holy. My favorite drink is salt water. <laughs> and lemon. You got the lemons, you got the salt water. What is there not to love? And the connection of the understanding I am 80% water, I am that ocean, the ocean is me, the ocean knows me, the wind knows me, the rain knows me. 
and the rainbow, the promise, you know, the promise of hope, the promise that the change that comes, the transformation that is there as a result of my own coming to understand where my growth is. But there are, you know, failures, okay. It's really important to acknowledge. There's a beautiful, very wise person. I forget their name online. And I read about and listened to their discussion of failure. And they had a family practice where at family dinner on Sundays, the father would be like, okay, what did you fail at this week? And everyone in the family would talk individually, go around and talk about because the importance of trying the thing about failing is it means you tried something it means you were learning it means you were willing to engage in life in this process and this my friend is the shift failure is not an end failure is a beginning it is Failure is new possibilities. You tried that experiment. You, it did not, it may not have turned out how you expected, but from that, the new understandings that come, the new possibilities on the horizon to embrace. Because failure is embracing the knowing and the growth of what we can do next, yeah? Or be willingness to keep going and keep learning and embrace what is next. Because coming back to the thing, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What's next? I don't know. But I'm here for this. And I'm willing. And I'm learning. <laughs> and uh, I met an um, uh, you know, like Karuna Mai, she's an omniscient, you know? <laughs> I'm a goofy human with some fantastic ancestors, and again, I know nothing, but creation knows me, divine knows me. So even though I may define myself in certain terms, I do this with the understanding that <clears throat> there is, I am also infinite, and there is more of me than I can describe. Yes? And that I encompass this human, that I am loved and encompassed. And discover exactly what more there is. What more is there? Let's find out. Alright, I love you and I'm with you. And thanks for being with me. Surfing Gusavaya. Waxing surfboards at the trust of the sweetness. You're already amazing. Just fucking be.